So this question starts off with this equation here, x squared minus 34x plus c equals 0. The question goes on to say, in the given equation, c is a constant. The equation has no real solutions if c is greater than n. What is the least possible value of n? All right, so then what I know, I know that in order for this equation to have no real, first of all, I know that this is a quadratic equation. Let me just go all the way back to the details. This is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equations are in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c. And technically it's a plus or minus plus or minus here. Um, which means for us that, let me just clean this up a bit so we can see it clearly, which means that there's no coefficient in front of our x squared, which makes it a 1, which means our a is equal to 1. The coefficient here in front of the x is negative 34, which means our b is negative 34, and our c is just c, right? Probably what we're going to try to find. Our c is equal to c. There's no, there's no number there. So then how do we determine what c values, if c has to be greater than n, what c values cause this full equation to have no real solutions? So the next thing to remember is that it says no real solutions, not no solution at all. So it does have imaginary solutions. To determine if a quadratic equation has real solutions, we use something called the discriminant. So this is really heavy on the knowledge, right? There's not a lot of strategy you can use here. So I'm going to call this a knowledge question. What's a discriminant? Well, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. And what we know about using this discriminant formula is that if b, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then we have two real solutions. If this is less than 0, we have two imaginary solutions solutions. And this is where we want to be. We want to be in the b squared minus 4ac is less than zero because that allows us, if we have two imaginary solutions, that means we have no real solution. So hopefully that makes sense. So then I'm just going to use this formula with what I have, right? I know what a is, I know what b is, I know what c is, and I'm going to plug that in and see how do, how do I make this work. So b squared becomes negative 34 squared minus 4 times a is 1, times c is just c, and I know I want this to be less than zero. So in my calculator, negative 34 squared is 1,156. So 1,156 minus basically 4c is less than zero. I'm going to subtract 1,156 from both sides. So that's gone there. I'm going to move over here to have more space. So I'm left with negative 4c is less than negative 1156, divide both sides by negative 4, go to my calculator again, divide by 4, and I am left with, um, since I'm dividing both sides by negative number, my um, inequality symbol will switch direction. So this turns into C is greater than 289. The question said, has no resolutions if C is greater than N, N, therefore, must be 289, and therefore, that's our answer. So 289 is the correct answer here.